Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Northern Line Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Hard Mode Runs. Last run went pretty well, we were Lazarus, right? Yeah, we ended up becoming Guppy, I remember now, it went well. Who has not beaten Mom's Heart? Judas and Eve. I don't hate Eve as much as I used to, largely because Cain has taken that place as that character that I just don't really want to be. But why don't we do Judas? Um, just because we've never played as Judas on hard mode, and we haven't done it as Eve either, but this gives me an excuse. I like Judas more than Eve. What the fuck is this cross-examination? You gotta give me the third degree? We got 24, uh, Dave Browns at Rooster Teeth Headquarters. That's our seed today. There actually, there used to be a, oh, we curse of blindness. Oh, not very good, but Monster Manuel is actually, it's a little bit better than it used to be. Um, because there's actually some cooler familiars in the game. Like, you don't just get, like, you know, Ghost Baby, thank God, once every four rooms I get fucking Ghost Baby. It can shoot over a rock and, you know, kill one of these assholes in, like, ten hits. Anyway, there used to be a, uh, a beer brand before I was of legal drinking age. And that's not a slight way of me hinting that I drank it when I was underage. I think the dude just went out of business when I was, like, 11. But he always had commercials on TV. This is the era, you know... Pre-craft beer, where it would be like, well, we we have a brewmaster, and he brews our beers at blah blah blah. It's just this guy's like, I'm Dave, I make beer. This is Dave's Honey Brown. It's like a him, like his kind of bloated, distended stomach in a Hawaiian shirt, sitting on a lawn chair, and he's like, this is what you see is what you get, motherfucker. You want to live life like me? I make a beer. Here you go. And um, that's it, you know, it wasn't like a Mike's Hard Lemonade thing. Like this is stuff that'll get you drunk if you're like a 17 year old. No offense. You know, that's good, you know, Pr preserve the pristine condition of your body as long as you can. It was more like, you know, if your favorite song is that, like, If you like pina colada, then that's, you should be drinking some Dave's Honey Brown. Just have, like, 19 or 20 of those, pass out in the hot summer sun. Try to forget the disappointment that your son is to your whole family. Alright, let's begin here. How do I feel about this run? Well, Judas, you know, it's a bit like playing Kerbal Space Program, isn't it? I'm just not along with that. Assume that it is correct. Oh, that was almost really bad. Um, I mean, if I take it, I'll die. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to leave. Um, what I was going to say is that... Uh, well, okay, it's a little bit like Coible Space Program, right? Because you uh, you, you got to deal with escape velocity as Judas. And I've, I've made this analogy a lot. But, you know... Book of Belial is great, and it's better than it's ever been based on the fact that it guarantees you deals with the devil on floors where you use it as well. Except for maybe this floor, but we got one anyway. Um, which we can't take advantage of. But, I was gonna say, we need HP in order to actually get to the point where we can get out of it. You know, it doesn't matter if your rocket has a lunar landing module if you can't get it out of the atmosphere in the first place. And we need HP in order to get us out of the atmosphere in the first place. Mind you, it started pretty okay here. If you uh, are doing this scene and you're a little slower than I am, what you might want to do... I'm glad to have a second bomb. What you might want to do is uh, go fight the boss, pick up the HP, and then go into those deals with the devil via that red chest, or that deal with the devil via the red chest, and let me know what one of those uh, options is. I was actually tempted to take one because I thought, you know, maybe it's nine lives. But if it had literally been anything but nine lives, or due to the shadow, or Abaddon, or the Pact, or the Mark, or Ceremonial Robes, it would have killed us. Now, it might seem like I'm cracking a joke and like, whoa, there's a pretty good chance it wouldn't have killed us. I mean, that's true. There was a there was an okay chance we wouldn't have died, but probably a greater than okay chance that we would have totally bit the dust. So, I, I don't regret my decision at all. Man, a golden poop only paying out with five cents is pretty disappointing. We will probably attempt to uh, uh, shoot all those poops later. It just it, it depends a little bit on whether or not we. You know what? This room is justifies it. Um, it'll depend on uh, how our key situation looks because there's no much. Or there's not much point in me uh, farming for uh, money if we don't have the keys necessary to make it into the shop. And in order to get the keys necessary to make it into the shop, we have to get the keys necessary to make it into our item room first. Which we are not quite at yet. There's our item room. Again, uh, I don't. We have we have the luxury of not really having to worry so much about deals with the devil because they're going to be automatic as long as we uh, use Book of Belial on the floor, which we'll endeavor to do on every single boss fight anyway. We have pretty much a, a guaranteed chance of getting a deal with the devil, as far as I know. Maybe a deal with the angel. Depending on the kind of, uh, you know, permutations that we, uh, we allow to happen here. I think I'm going to just go ahead and fight the boss. 
could get a crate drop or something like that. That would make my life easier. I gotta go because I got me a crate drop. And if I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. Had to stop at a red light. Looking in the mirror, not a jacker in sight. That's carjacking, not masturbation. That would be some kind of like dystopian... Yeah, I'll take it. Some kind of dystopian future. Every time you look in your mirror, there's somebody masturbating. Uh, Necronomicon is, is awful. It's just a terrible item. Uh, I can't really tell. I think as a result of experimental treatment, our HP went up, our speed went up. Range maybe went down. Uh, and damage, I believe, went down. I, uh, I feel like I'm doing a little bit less damage. I'm not that perturbed by that because, uh, you know, I think we are doing maybe more DPS if our tiers went up. But I'm actually not sure our tiers did go up now that I, now that I think about it. Now we still desperately need a key if possible. The way that I will try to make that happen, maybe we will go to our shop first because we have enough money to buy an item and a key. But, uh... I think what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll come down here, we'll do some exploration. I always prefer, if possible, I think shot speed went up. It was not the best experimental treatment. I, I, I appreciate the extra HP. I mean, you, do, you were going to get it anyway, basically, because of an all stats upgrade. But, uh, you know, damage is really the be-all, end-all for the most part. Although I am happy to have 3 HP as, uh, as Judas. That doesn't always happen. But anyway, I, I much prefer to get consumables just randomly dropped from rooms. We can do something a little bit more creative with that red heart. Uh, then, then to gamble for them, but I may end up gambling for them. That was really terrible, but uh, this is a good fight because we will get either an item that I probably won't care about at all, or a uh, tarot card. And there are a lot of tarot cards that would actually give us the ability to kind of snowball from this point. A justice tarot card would give us a key, among other things. Um, which would be fantastic and allow us to access one rune that we chose. Uh, this could be two of spades. It is two of spades, so we're going to use that right now, yeah. Because we have 20 cents. The other thing we could do is gamble on the slot machine and the three skull Monty. Let's see if uh, that would cost us a cent, though. Um, but I, I think that's not the most advisable option. I think the most advisable option is we pop this right now. What I would be hoping for is to earn more keys and then, you know, work from there. Uh, so, I love Red Candle. I don't really like Boomerang that much. I could use the Spirit Heart, but I like Book of Belial too much, so I think I'm actually just going to end up buying a key out of this. It was half price, so we have enough money to definitely get whatever we want from the next shop as well, and we'll just cut our losses on that one. If there had been a passive item in there, I probably would have picked it up. Fat Odd Mushroom is really good. I'm going to spend one cent to go into our, uh, well, we could use a bomb, but I think one cent's a better deal to go in here, just in case there was, ooh. Uh, a demon judgment, which there's not. And then, oh, I was just gonna say like, hey, we'll get like our, our penny back here. Not that we didn't get it back already. And then, hey, it paid out with a blood bag. I don't know if that stuff is seeded, but you should you should try that out for yourself. Again, um, you know, spirit hearts spirit arts are always nice, right? But I'm not really that interested in actually picking one up here, because again, we the only reason we need a spirit heart now is if we're going to die. Because we don't need a spirit heart to uh, guarantee us a deal with the devil. We're going to get a deal with the devil or angel anyway by way, by way of just having Book of Belial. So I'm not too disappointed about this. This run's going very, very well so far. Might as well pop Book of Belial for this room. Uh, try to only kill one spider and then we'll see what's in that other chest. Yeah. So we got two spirit hearts, decent amount of money. Uh, I think it was worth it. Our damage is uh, better now. You know, Fat Odd Mushroom is actually one of the best kind of... Uh, options for us in that item room. I mean, obviously, like, an all stats up would have been better, but being reasonable and, and a little modest, you know, in our, in our asks, that's pretty good. You know, we get the extra HP, which is something that you always want, especially early on as Judas, and we get the extra damage, which compensates a little bit for what I perceived... Oh, man, that could have hurt. Uh, what I perceived as a damage downgrade from experimental treatment, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that worked out. I don't even think it's a speed downgrade like it used to be. I think it did used to be a speed downgrade. I could be mistaken in that. As you can see, like, my damage uh, by default, nothing to write home about here. This room is really, really tight. But uh, I, I would love to be doing a little bit more damage to enemies if we could. One of the best ways to make that happen would actually just be to pick up uh, either a 9 volt or... I mean, a ba eh, battery's not that useful with Book of Belial, I guess. Um, or... Um, Perhaps 
more universally useful, uh, a trickle charge, like the uh, AAA battery. I really like AAA battery as a trinket. It shows up semi-often in my games. I would love to see it. Ah, oh, yeah, we will use a key here, just because we're already here. All right, this is great, because um, we had a... Uh, we're not even firing that quickly, even with Sad Onion, but we we were not firing super quickly without it either, so this will up our DPS a little bit. I like Sad Onion a lot. One of my, uh, I wouldn't say favorite items, but it is an item I have uh, some affinity for, for sure. Well, uh, if we uh, get into the shop, I might like the opportunity to buy a ladder for once. But it'll really depend on whether we have the option to get into the shop. And then whether we have the option to buy the ladder. And, you know, if we have any other options, I'd probably prefer those. I'm loving this shot, uh, shot upgrade. Shop upgrade level 4, because uh, now we have so many other options at the shop. It's like having an automatic reroll. That was not good. Um, yeah, it's like having an automatic reroll when you go in there, which is pretty nice. Because it means that you it's more viable as characters who are not necessarily Isaac, you know? I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of using Book of Belial whenever it's available. Which is actually kind of a sign of a lack of confidence in my run, because if I uh, was doing more damage, I wouldn't feel the need to use Book of Belial as often as I am. Truth be told, I, I think I'm just going to fight the boss, even though Book of Belial is not active right now. Pestilence is not so bad, and just in general, like, at this point, a lot of the enemies we come across, a lot of the rooms just, like, randomly we come across are going to be more difficult than the bosses, I think. Especially when that boss is Pestilence, who I've actually, I think I've gotten a, a little bit more respect for Pestilence, you know, I, I kind of uh, understand that he's got some some hurting power. I hope we get a deal with the devil. We have the HP necessary to, like, deals with the devil are like the default option for me, if, if it's possible to choose. Because, usually you have more choice in the matter, uh, and you can pick up offensive items, whereas Angel Rooms, rarely do you get offensive items. And we, offense is really the driving force, you know? It makes the world go around. We did get a deal with the devil. I'll take the bandages, of course. And uh, we get Ghost Baby. This is a very, very disappointing series of deal with the devil rooms. Watch, like, that first floor. It was like a one heart, nine lives, followed by a one heart, you know, brimstone or something like that. But we have no control over that. And, you know, th this is what makes Isaac so dynamic of a game. Is that uh, there was an absolutely no way we could have uh, made that work. But we, we still racking our brain trying to theory craft some bullshit ways that we could have. So, Ball of Bandages is as, um, it's, a, it's a tantalizing item. But it's also a bit of a risky one. Because it always puts me in a position where I'm like, a little bit more aggressive than I should be probably. This could be Bombs or Key. Could also be a health downgrade, which is uh, a little bit less fantastic for me. Now, I was really, like, the reason I went to that item room was because it was so early on the run that I just assumed, or so early on the floor, I should say, that another key was, was just in the market for us. Too bad they didn't create a bridge for us, but we got a bomb anyway. If we don't get a key remaining on this floor, I'll be pretty disappointed. Bombs are key, maybe? Wow. Not the nicest floor of all time for us here. Um, but yeah, if we don't get another uh, key on this floor, I'll be a little disappointed, because we might have made the opposite decision, you know? We might have gone to our uh, our shop first, and it might not have affected us that much. We might have been able to get something from our shop, and that was almost scary, and something from our uh, item room. Just by buying a key on our shop, as as happens, like, all the time. I had a feeling I would take damage at some point in there. So we have a curse room. This temperance card is a little interesting. I don't necessarily know when to use it. We could use it on this floor. There are some red hearts. Uh, but I also feel like... What if you use the temperance card on a second secret room that had an eternal heart and you blew it up? We already know that Hematemesis... Uh, let's, let's go into our curse room, by the way. Alright. <laughs> Still could get a key out of it. We already know that Hematemesis, if you use it on a room like that, will pay out with um, Eternal Hearts. Which is very, very useful. What if it's the same thing? You know? What if, um... What if if you blow it up, it gives you a good chance to get Red Hearts, of course. And you blow it up, it gives you, uh... Hoo -hoo, a good chance to get Eternal Hearts. Of course, in order for this to work, you would actually need to find the room, uh... Right away. Luckily, it, it, there's only two locations where there could possibly be 
A secret room. A second secret room, I should say. So I'm, I'm gonna keep looking for those as opposed to looking for where... What the? Where's my second secret room? The only other locations... Okay, so I don't think it's adjacent to our... Um... It shouldn't be adjacent to our curse room. We already checked up there. Oh, so it, it has to be... Had a little brain fart there, I guess. I ha it has to be, like, right here. There could also be a slot machine or a fortune teller we could gamble on. Okay, this, this is perfect, though, because we can use temperance on here anyway. So this will at least allow us to get a lot of money, and we picked up HP as well. Kind of a roundabout way of making that work, but the HP upgrade at least compensates for the HP downgrade that we got. And we'll be headed down to the next floor. No, uh, no need to pick up Ghost Baby, I would say. Good run thus far. A little bit dubious on the last floor. Um, those those deals with the devil have been quite disappointing so far. And we do have a... Uh, you know what? This arcade. Let's be smart about this. Let's gamble and get some keys. We don't need 30 cents. If we can have like 15 by the time we get one key, I'll be thrilled. If we could also have like some red hearts or spirit heart drops, we could have some good stuff happen. I would like to be able to access the boss uh, trap room as well. Well, this has gone fantastically for us as you can see. Red hearts are good though. Okay, red hearts at night, sailors delight. Red hearts, red hearts in the morning, tell you what, I'll take red hearts whenever they're available. There is a key there that we can get just for walking over the spikes, and honestly it seems stupid not to. Because we're not going to ruin our deal with the devil chance. So as soon as we have our first red heart on the ground, we'll do that. Um, we probably are in deal with the angel territory now, I'd have to guess. There's another key for us. Maybe we won't have to walk over the spikes, but we may, still might want to. We're basically trading one red heart for a key, which is a pretty freaking great trade, especially on hard mode. Kind of wish that I had saved my Book of Bilal charge for this room. I'm not the greatest uh, player when it comes to this stuff. There is a, uh, maybe a library. I don't believe that the, the, the compass has like any tells for what that is. That was, you like that? A little bit of sweet uh, ball of bandages action. Like, we see that, that we need a key required to enter it. That's our only tell for what the room is. It could also be like Isaac's room or something like that, I think. Which wouldn't really benefit us that much. Another key, I appreciate it. Here's our item room and our shop. Book of Belial, you know, it's it's Book of Belial's time, but I'm not going to use it anyway. Doesn't really matter, honestly. Like that, losing that red heart means basically nothing to me. That one was just dumb. But uh, okay, Spelunker's hat allows us to see our secret rooms, which is pretty good. And our shop does not contain greed. Uh, you know, honestly, Mom's purse is kind of just like your your default pickup. There's so many good trinkets now, I think this item is actually uh, even a little bit better than it used to be, and I thought it was pretty good before. Before it was like, yeah, there was like two categories of stuff. There was like objectively good shop stuff, like, um, you know, map, compass, 9 volt, nuns have it. There might have been more, I might have forgotten. Blue candle, stuff like that. Um, well, blue candle maybe doesn't apply because it's not a passive, but anyway. Uh, and then it was like, well, I'll, I'll take one of those, or, you know, I could also be happy if nuns ha or if uh, Mom's Purse shows up. Because Mom's Purse does have a tendency to work out in your favor. You do need trinkets to make it happen, but, you know, presumably we'll get a trinket over the course of this game. If we don't, I'd be fairly disappointed in things. That's okay, though. Got Gertie. I'm very glad that I saved Book of Belial. Not because Gertie is a difficult fight, but because Gertie has a notoriously large amount of HP. So to be able to uh, actually have your uh, Book of Belial ready for that is very helpful. I'm also trying to get uh, the bandage to do as many uh, spin it to win it as it can. As you can see, it actually helped us out pretty nicely there. Alright, deal with the angel and synth oil. Synth oil is pretty good. Deal with the angel is holy water, which just confirms that. You know, somebody up there is very displeased with me for some reason. And we will do some more exploration on this floor. Uh, I don't know if we're able gonna, or able gonna, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make the kind of uh, inroads on our arcade that I expected to. And without any spirit hearts, I really, really don't feel comfortable gambling 
to the point where we can uh, get into the boss trap room. And we don't have any bombs, which is, you know, one reason why I didn't bomb the angel statue. The other reason is because I this is not going to be a run where I really care about beating Mega Satan. It's going to be a run where I'm mostly concerned about just beating Mom's Heart. And I think we have the capabilities to beat Mom's Heart on hard mode on this run. I don't think that's out of the question. We can get a, at least one free gamble. There's our secret room. Uh, we can get at least one free gamble on the blood bank. And we should use the rest of our money to try to get uh, at least like a bomb payout. Because then we could actually access one or more of our secret rooms. Which would be kind of nice. Uh, so let's, let's go down to our arcade. I may still get that key as well, because we are out of keys now. So we'll gamble on these guys. Work with me here. Oh, come on. And then we get one play on you for one cent. I'll throw it back to our slot machine here. All right, I'm going to go two more. All right, and then we're going to take two more cents. We have one to you. One to you. Man, that is a disappointing series of events. Oh, that is the ultimate fuck me. I, uh, I botched that one miserably. Could have still gone to our curse room there, but... I kind of got hit by the spikes and bounced around. I don't know if it's worth it now. Let's just leave and hope we get a key on the next floor. You're gonna say, like, oh, you're an idiot. But I swear to God, when I got hit by those spikes, it kind of, like, bounced me to the side, and then I was like, shit, if I go over them again and my invincibility runs out, then I'm gonna take damage. Uh, and die on my way out, which would be a terrible way to end this run. So, I kind of just, you know, I, I called it as I saw it. And I regret it somewhat. Alright, Necro Necropolis 1, Curse of the Unknown, we have 3 HP. It is nice to keep that stuff in mind. 3.5 now, which is nice. It's also my favorite Fellini film. <laughs> um, I'm so cultured. <laughs> I watched... Uh, I'll, I'll admit, you know, I, I, I take no pleasure in uh, being the guy who's like, you know, I don't watch stuff that other people like. I, I like what I like, and that's all I watch. And I, I went through a period where I, you know, cared about what uh, very smart people thought about media. And I, uh, you know, I watched films like Eight and a Half, trying to broaden my horizons. I'm not ashamed to admit, I was probably like 18 at the time. I watched Eight and a Half, and was like, I don't get this shit at all. Maybe if I went back as a... Uh, you know, a, a little bit of an older individual here. I would, I would understand it would resonate with me a little bit more. I mean, it was also made in the 50s, I think. So it's kind of like out of my, uh, you know, contemporary time as well. We're definitely going to use Book of Belial here. Yes, I see that there is a tinted rock. Don't get me wrong. Should very much like to take advantage of that fact. Oh, come on. I don't. The the trick on this these rooms, I should say. Is spending yeah, I'm fucked. <laughs> is spending as little time as possible in the fuck corridor. So I'm at two and a half hearts now, I think. Unfortunately, the fuck corridor on these uh, rooms is an extraordinarily long cavern that just never stops. No bombs. Two and a half. Two and a half, I think, is what we're at. Anyway. Anyway. Um, okay. Any moment now, I'll be able to take one of you out. I am nervous about this floor. You know, Necropolis, that ain't no joke. Had to back up off of this and sit my cup down. Tank array and chronic. Dude, I'm fucked up now. I, I guarantee this is one of the only channels on YouTube on which you will get in the same breath. Um, some Fellini references, and then a quoted lyric from uh, Snoop Dogg's Gin and Juice. Like, you know, keep your uh, cultural influences varied, you know? It makes you kind of like a cultural missing no. People never know what to expect. Also, you'll never know if you don't go, and you'll never shine if you don't blow as well. This is just a commonly accepted fact. If you want a citation for that, that's Astro Lounge, 1999. Thank you! Two keys is actually like way more than I expected there. Because I, I expected zero. Lard is a great pickup. Now I'll be straight with you. I have no idea how many uh, uh, HP we have at this point. Hey, a rune! And it's uh, 
Perthro, Change Rune. You know what? I bet this rerolls all of our enemies. I don't think I've ever seen it though. Oh snap, that's pretty good. So if we're gonna eh, this is a bad place to do this, but I did want to go to our secret room. It may this is just a hunch. Change room. Change rune. I'm thinking it either Oh, thank God for golden keys. I'm thinking it either uh rerolls all the items or like all the consumables on the ground, or it rerolls the enemies. I don't really want to reroll a room full of little poops and, you know, a couple of wall masters. That's not so bad for me. Should only be two of these guys, hopefully. Let's just tr no, I don't really want to try it on this room either. You know, these guys should be fairly simple. There we go. Uh, I hate this room. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, that's really good. Just get out of there. Oh my god, give me a chance at least to try out this rune. Ah, there we go. That means I have to walk all the way. Well, you know what? We found the boss anyway, so we might as well like check out all the rooms that we have over here. Let's let's try the rune. Does not reroll the enemies. My guess is that it rerolls what's on the ground. Hey, it might even be just a like a, a consumable D6 that rerolls uh it rerolls the an item pedestal or something like that, but you know I like I like to figure that stuff out through experimentation, or at least I like to try to figure it out through experimentation. And what you got to do there, you know, isolate variables, dog. It's the scientific method. Or we could just you know do what people wish they had been able to do in like the 1800s or 1700s, and just looked it up on Wikipedia. Northern line Wikipedia didn't exist back in the 70s. I'm aware that Wikipedia didn't exist. In the 18th century, okay. I was I was using it as a reference. How how much do you think people would have killed for Wikipedia back in the day? That's like some Ark of the Covenant shit. Like Wikipedia is. I I also don't know what this is, by the way. Um, Wikipedia is like the closest thing, and people don't appreciate it, which is what it's the sum total of human knowledge accessible for free. To the entire population that is able to get on the internet, which has a relatively low barrier to entry for, at least for, you know, modern countries. I shouldn't say modern countries, it's, you know, pushes my own beliefs. At least for, uh, developed countries, maybe that's better, I don't know, I'm not a, not a scientist or a social scientist or anything like that. Like, that's the kind of shit that, like, maybe not in the 70s, but if, you, like, the, the, like, uh, what, how am I trying to, we might as well go to our shop in case we fight greed, it would be a good thing for us. Nope. Got Convoida. I would like to be able to buy, um... I bet, I bet this rune, by the way, gives us, uh, invincibility. But anyway, um, like, that's the kind of shit where if you had that, that's like some, uh, Holy Grail shit, right? They're like, well, we're searching for the Holy Grail. What is it? Oh, it's a, it's the cup that Christ drank from. Okay, well, I'm searching for, uh, something that's literally the sum total of everything that humans have learned and accomplished over the course of their existence on this world, and... Let me just pop this rune quickly. Yeah, it is invincibility. Um, and it's freely available to everybody. And, uh, you know, I'm, we're just going to put it up for free. We're not even going to charge anybody for it. If, like, a criminal, like a James Bond-esque mastermind controlled that shit, that would be amazing. Oh, my God. Does this actually give us invincibility for the whole room? I, by amazing, I mean amazing for them, obviously. Not amazing for the... The human condition. Well, we'll take our speed upgrade and not Krampus. Not Krampus, mom's knife. Yeah. Uh, so we we have five HP. So I think we take all these, actually, because uh, ceremonial robes is a damage upgrade. Dark bomb is just incredible, obviously. And then I think we... Uh, there's no other red hearts here, so we just get the fudge out of this floor. This is a good position to find ourselves in, though. You know, there were, like, freaking... There's, uh, like, legislation in the 1600s that was, like... You know, should we be mad that, like, people are learning how to read? Because if they're able to read the Bible, and we can, like, translate it into the, the language of the, you know, the peasants, they might actually revolt. And Wikipedia is here, and it's like, hey, you know, you want to you wanna be able to know not only, you know, the translation of the Bible, but hey, here's, like, every smartest person, like, every smart Bible scholar in history, here's their opinions and their interpretations on it. And by the way, you don't give a shit about the Bible? Hey, here's literally... 
a distilled version of everything that mankind has ever discovered, or is in the process of discovering right now, as well as any behind the scenes bullshit gossipy info you could ever want about television shows that you watched when you were nine. It's, it's an incredible tool, but Wikipedia, as much as a lot of people do recognize that it is amazing, I feel like we kind of gloss over that a little bit. We go like, hey, I'm gonna... Do Wikipedia, that's not a good source. So what are you, in high school using Wikipedia for your sources? Like, dude, Wikipedia is, is like the greatest tool. It, it's the, the most noble thing that, like, mankind has ever done. And yet, well, maybe that's not true. But, they, you know, I think you can make a case one up. Mystery saying, okay. I think you can make a case that it's kind of up there. Uh, and it's supported entirely by donations, man. What's up with that shit? But anyway, um, I, I think you can make a case for it. And still, mostly it's just used as like a punchline, and people are like, I, I edited it to make dick jokes. <laughs> I made it say that Margaret Thatcher eats a dick. <laughs> yeah, you know, moderators took care of it in literally 14 seconds, but Wikipedia can't be trusted because people could just do shit like that all the time. Instead, trust a book that was written in the 1600s and is located in one physical location in fucking, like, you know, Abero and Wales. Anyway. Cool. Uh, we have a Chaos card. I hear that the Chaos card, people are always telling me shit like, you know, get Blank card plus Chaos card. See what happens. So I think Chaos card might destroy, like, everything on the room. Might Like, it might kill all the enemies flat out. So what I will do, I'll tell you what. I won't use the Chaos card yet. Instead, I will save it. And my goal will be to pick up a blank card on the shop. Which I don't think is that unreasonable. It shows up fairly frequently on shops. We have enough keys. Really, the only thing standing in our way is the RNG of hoping it shows up in the shop. And then, our finances. But our, our money situation seems pretty good. Uh, honestly, our HP is uh, fantastic as well. I, I actually thought we were lower on HP than we actually were. I thought we were going to come out of this with maybe just those like four spirit arts and black hearts that we have. But... Uh, no, we're, we're in a much better position. And, uh, you know, we've got a, enough damage upgrades that I can feel pretty good about that. And, uh, we've got Dark Bum. We're in a, kind of a stupid good position. BBF, Big Beautiful Fly, it's a dangerous item. But an item that I actually kind of like a lot. Alright, nothing there. Let's check out our, uh, non-secret room. Or our second secret room, I should say. Matchstick? Hey, we get to keep it. And I'm gonna go to our shop to see what we got. Yeah, that's fine. It actually it makes it clear that it's the right decision to go to our shop, even though we don't get uh, we don't get the blank card. And I guess we'll try to use. Uh... Oh yeah, thank you, Dark Bomb. You got something for me? I think we picked up a spirit heart there, even though it looks like it's a half spirit heart. Um, yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll just go fight our boss right now. Oh, I, I forgot we have Dark Bum. How about we actually give Dark Bum a chance to pay out with as many spirit hearts as he is able? That was one of the best deals with the devil we could have hoped for, by the way. I didn't even talk about it, but like, we're a, I'm amazed that we got a deal with the devil after we did pick up an angel item. Now, it was only holy water, but still. Uh, so we want the Polaroid. And sure, we'll take it. It's a reusable level skip. Sometimes that shovel can actually give you a black market, but. It didn't this time. So we took Book of Belial and uh, we'll continue onwards. Curse of the Labyrinth. Honestly, this is, uh, it's bad because it means that we won't get an effective deal with the devil here. We'll just get a deal with the devil that shows us, uh, or gives us like easy access to Shoal, which we don't even want to go to. But it's not that bad. Can't be too perturbed by it. You know what would be another reasonable nerf for Dark Bum? Some people might consider it a little bit uh, too far. But uh, if Dark Bum could only get hearts that you yourself could get, that might be an interesting... Not that it needs a nerf. You know, I am one of those people that's kind of like, you know, they, they'll they nerf what needs to be nerfed. I don't know if Dark Bum needs to be nerfed. It is very powerful, but I, I resent the idea that, you know, every run in Isaac should not be overpowered. I like the idea that sometimes there's run that's, that runs that are very overpowered. And Dark Bum can, can certainly contribute to those um, but if, if it needs to be nerfed there's maybe there's a nerf but the much more realistic and probably like easier to program way would just be to make it so that maybe it only pays out once every two spirit hearts like even then I know it used to be one and then they change it to a half and it's like well you know how far are you gonna go when when will it be enough Northern Lion when will it be enough well I don't know okay but I do think that even in its current state it is real strong
which I love. But if you wanted to nerf it, that's, I mean, you don't need me to tell you that. That's the easiest way. You're, you're smart people out there. Probably. Well, I mean, statistically, considering I don't know you, I would assume that you are of, of average intelligence. And then maybe, like, plus five points. Because obviously my references are so erudite um, that, you know, it would skew towards a uh, more intelligent demographic. I'm being 100% facetious, by the way. I'm a fucking idiot. Now. I don't like these uh, turrets that can come back to life. I am taking a little bit more damage than I am proud of. I'm really concerned because I know that the Chaos card is powerful and, I, and people are like, Blank card, Chaos card, want me to run. Blank card, Chaos card. I hate these enemies that teleport on top of you. But um, without knowing 100%, oh my god, of the uh, actual use of the Chaos card, I am worried that it maybe it kind of kills you in the process as well. Wouldn't be the first uh, card to do that. I like how the Chaos card, oh, that's a black market, I think. I like how the Chaos card is also listed as like a, a playing card. The Chaos of Spades, the Chaos of Spades. Dark Bomb, thank you. Let's see what we got, free item or black market, free item. This is the poop. You know what, no game. That's not even petrified poop, that's the poop poop. I'm not taking it, I'm not even touching it. Don't give me that shit. He doesn't know how to use the poop properly. I know how to use the poop properly. It's just bad. Stop teasing me. Okay. We got anything like something from something is nothing here. Thank you. No consumables, by the way. I don't want to be able to open anything on the chest. That would just... That would compromise the integrity of the whole run. Hey. Good. Fistula. A little frightening. Mostly because I, I, you know, Fistula is not going to be hard, but I don't trust myself to not get hit. That is Kane's Eye, which we can take. Gives us a chance to get the compass effect on a floor, which is, it's fine. It's not very good, and I would probably be more eager to replace uh, Kane's Eye than replace the matchstick, but it's all right, I guess. I'm pretty happy with the matchstick, by the way. It's given us literally zero bombs this floor. It's pretty exciting. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we save our uh, Book of Belial charge. Use it against Mom's Heart. That was relatively easy. Uh, I guess we'll pick this up and then put it back down up to sundown. See where the bad guys are to be found and make them lay down. Because we have no need for the ability. To, well, I mean, we have a need for the ability to fly, but no means to take that and Book of Belial. Which is a pretty important part of our, uh, you know, Judas ecosystem here. My name is Judas. We unlock Shadow Baby. This has actually been the easiest run thus far when it comes to uh, just beating Mom's heart. We haven't struggled very much at all. Curse of the Unknown. So this is uh, a little scary. The best defense against Curse of the Unknown, and I say this... Knowing full well, I, I I will not be taking my own advice because it's it's tough advice. Uh, is just don't get hit. If you don't get hit, doesn't matter how much HP you uh, you uh, have. You ha always have enough to survive. Hey, thank you, matchstick. Now, if only we could actually pick up like a key at least, that would give me a little bit more confidence, you know. I don't mind not being able to get anything on the chest, but it would be easier for me if I could... Oh, I really thought BFF was going to hit there. Um, well, it hit there. It would be easier for me if I could at least, you know, have some some hope of getting something. But we are doing good enough damage that it doesn't really matter. I mean, I haven't really even noticed that uh, I haven't been using BFF, or not BFF, Book of Belial. Which is my BFF, which I think is how I got confused. But like, you know... It, it sort of doesn't matter for us because we're killing things so quickly. I'd rather save it for a uh, room that is a little bit more pressing. Wow, that was really fast. We're totally going to do this. All right, you know the deal. Our shots are doing a ton of damage. Most of these shots, it tricks you because he doesn't do like an animation. He just kind of fires the shot out and it, it trips you up like a Judas and Mary chain song. This did not hurt. There we go. Took care of the riffraff. 
We're gonna be fine here. Like, this is already basically over. And again, there you go. What's the number one defense against, uh... There we go. Uh, what's the number one defense against Curse of the Unknown? Just don't get hit, dog. It's easy. We unlocked Guillotine there. What is that? Is that for not taking damage on uh, Isaac? Or is that for beating Isaac X number of times or something? I know that people have... I've heard people talking about the Guillotine item. I have never known what it does. This has been an exceptional hard mode run. I'm very happy. I would be more happy if I could get, you know, even a single key. Whoa, there's our... There's our boss fight up there. But honestly, I think, you know, I, I am banking on the chaos, ca chaos card doing what I think it does. That may be short-sighted, but we're about to find out. Oh, the dirty little tease. The item room, or the, the boss room is right up there, but there's no means for us to get to. I did think, I was like, you know what, this is a little bit too, too convenient to only be like four rooms away from the boss room at this point. So we probably have to go... Oh, I mean, the, the the odds are... Dark Bomb, that's for you. Man, there is some serious construction going, going on outside. I apologize for that. Not that, I mean, it's not in my hands, but... You know, you get the idea. Uh, we should really still kill Gluttony last. Because the, the Dark Bomb potential is too high. Got the most HP. I guess it is super gluttony. So that's one guaranteed spirit R plus whatever uh, remainder he had before. I guess he had zero remainder? That doesn't seem right. Unless they nerfed Dark Bomb while I was talking about it. But if the Chaos card just gets the kill instantly, I'll be a very happy camper. If it just does a lot of damage, that's fine too. And if the card is an instant kill, it's super overpowered, but the question is, you know, how often does it show up? There are a lot of, of runes and tarot cards, or not tarot cards, but like, just cards in general, that I've only seen once or twice, and I've played like 130 hours or something ridiculously stupid. So let's try it. Um... Uh, maybe you're supposed to throw it like at the boss? Can I, can I pick it up again? Is that what I have? Or if he touches it, does he go through like a disastrous spree? I have no idea what that did. I have a feeling I just fucking botched it miserably. We're still gonna win though, so who cares? I kinda care. I wish, I wish I'd learned. I also wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I was a baller. Wish I had a girl that looked good, I would call her something something like a 56 Impala. I can't remember. But anyway, that was a great run. I had a really good time with that. We all unlocked a couple of new items. 321, baby! Probably the Chaos card. In any case, there's Judas. One side of that hard mode run cleared out. Feels good. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.